Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a Frag FX for the PlayStation 3 or an Xbox 360 to the PS4 by using the Kronos Max. All right, what you're going to need is a Frag FX for the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360 version is fine too. And it's a receiver dongle. You're going to need a mini USB um, connector. You're going to need to use a uh, micro USB connector and you're going to need a uh, extension USB connector and also the PS4 controller and of course the, the Kronos Max. In order to get this up and running the first step is to go to Kronos Max website and download the software. Make sure you um, updated the Kronos Max and make sure your firmware is updated. Once you download the software, you need to go to plugins and install the XAIM plugin. You need that XAIM plugin to uh, connect with your Frag FX controller. In order to download the XAIM plugin, you need to go to Plugin Manager. And it, it will show you a list of plugins you can install. Click XAIM and click Install, which I already installed XAIM already, so if you want to uninstall it, you can click uninstall. But usually, there will be an install button here. In order to download that XAIM plugin, you need to go to Plugin Manager. And it, it will show you a list of plugins you can install. Click XAIM and click install, which I already installed XAIM already, so if you want to uninstall it, you can click uninstall. But usually, there will be an install button here. Now, the next step is to take the Kronos Max and connect it to the extension USB, just like, just like that. And once you're done, connect this to one of your PS4 USB slot. Now, the next step is to connect your mini USB into the Kronos, Kronos Max. Uh, mini USB port with your uh, mini USB connector just like that connect this to here and connect this one to one of your uh, PC USB slot now the next step is the Kronos Max have an extra USB slot now you need to take your micro USB cable connect one of the USB cable to here in there and the other end of the micro USB, you connect it to your PS4 controller, just like that. Now, in this step, I have already connected uh, this part to the PS4 and this part to the PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, but I have not connected the mini USB to the PC. If you have not connected this to the PC, this is what, this is what you will get. It will show you that device is not connected. So let's go ahead and connect that device to one of your slot, USB slot. Just like that. And then now let's go ahead and look at um, it says device connected, Kronos Mass Plus, plus version 1.04. Now the next step is to connect the PlayStation 3 Frag FX Shark dongle or the Xbox 360 to your PC. I also recommend you put new batteries or charge your batteries and put new ones in the mouse and the analog stick. Now before you connect your Frag FX dongle, make sure your switch is uh, switched to the keyboard instead of the PlayStation 3. Just like that. And then go ahead and place it or connect it into uh, one of your uh, USB slot. And there you go. Right now the Frag FX dongle light is not on, so let's go ahead and turn on the Frag FX. If this two light is not on, it means that this dongle is not paired with your mouse and your uh, Frag FX um, analog stick. In order to fix that problem, I recommend you go to the Spitfish website and find out how to pair this dongle 
to your FragFX controllers and mouse. If your PC does not recognize the mouse controller from the FragFX, I highly recommend you install some drivers from the website. Once that is done, uh, then you can go to plugins, open up your XAIM, and this window will pop up. Now the next step is to go here to build a new layout, go to files, new layout, and then you can name your file to anything you want. I'll just leave it the way it is, my new layout, click OK. And then uh, what you see here is the PlayStation 3 controller. You want to change this to the PS4 controller, so go to layout option, go to controller, select PS4, and then there you go. Once that is done, you will see some white boxes. Now these white boxes indicate that the input device is not registered to your mouse controller. So I will show you how to do that. So what you need to do, you can use your FragFX mouse controller or your original PC mouse. Scroll it over here, right click, and then this will pop up. Now the next step is to take your mouse, uh, put it on one of the cruiser, the L1 shoulder button, and um, right click with your mouse and this menu will pop up. So go to keystroke, click on this, and it says to press a key. Now take one of your mouse, uh, take your analog mouse controller and click one of the buttons. See? Well, if one of the buttons doesn't work, then most likely you need to use the other, um, the other menu. So I'm gonna click that. So, well, we don't want that. So in order to clear it, go, go to, highlight it, right click, and go, Clear. Are you sure you want to clear the entry? Click yes. Now let's do this again. Go back, right click. Instead of using the keystroke, let's use the mouse stroke. And let's see what happened. And I'll put it right here. See, now it works. So you might have to uh, guess the keystroke or mouse stroke with any of these randomly. Now let's go ahead and, and use the D-pad right click, uh, let's use, let me take a guess, keystroke, and let's see here, yep, it does register it with the keystroke. So now let's uh, go to the mouse, right click. On the mouse, you, uh, you don't use the keystroke or mouse button, uh, it's already here, so you just use for mouse up, well it's already, um, uh, connected for you already, so mouse right. Yeah, looks like it's automatically registered for you already, see, because you see the green arrows. And I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, inputting all my devices into the FragFX controller. Now, once you're done, you see how I got all my inputs registered with the FragFX controller. The extra input uh, you can use the one, one feature, but I don't know how to do that, so you might be on your own in that section. Now the next step is you want to be able to know if your PS4 mouse controller is working properly with the program. So go to device monitor, open, and this menu will pop up. Now if you were to press any of these buttons on here, it should register on the program, on the computer. So let me go ahead and press Triangle, and register, circle, X, square, uh, the analog stick, the D-pad, so it should register. Now go ahead and close it. Now the next step is to go to layout, and lock editing means that you uh, will lock uh, from any uh, mistakenly key registered to any of these devices. Uh, let's see here. On first person shooter, you go to mouse setting and this window will pop up. Now you can be able to register um, your smoothness, acceleration, sensitivity. Uh, for person, first person shooter, I recommend you figure out what works for you. My smoothness, I set around 30. I leave at 142. Dead zone, I usually put in maybe 30. And let's see the dead zones here. And my mouse DPI is set at 1000. 
sensitivity I believe I leave that alone so let's go ahead and test that and see what happened now the next step is go to click enter capture mode to register your uh, FragFX controller to your PS4 when you're in capture mode you can be able to use your mouse controller so go ahead and press start I wanted the mouse controller which is uh, let's see here if thing doesn't work well you might need to remove this cable and reset it so I already disconnected this and reconnected and then it shows a zero and now I'm able to use my PS4 controller and move it around there we go okay. just like that now earlier it didn't register because um, something happened I had to reset everything and uh, most likely I have to disconnect this and reconnect it to start over again so now it is registering is very important that you be able to move this now let's go ahead and go back to uh, tools I mean I'm, I'm sorry plugins X aim and if this pops up don't worry you um, uh, your layout is already safe just go uh, layout click here and find out where um, your layout was mine was my new layout so click that see now now it pops up now go ahead and click enter capture mode all right now you should be able to use your frag effects controller so let's see here let me move uh, there you go see I can be able to use my mouse controller and let's see here now let's go ahead and uh, play what is it well let's try advanced warfare all right now if you see here I'm using the frag FX controller and I'm moving my mouse I'm shooting aim see and, and it works now let's try the analog okay, left right See if I can run. There you go. Okay, it works. If you move your mouse left and right, do you see that green bar going up and down? That green bar will help show you how much sensitivity uh, you're you're moving your mouse. If you move it very fast, your green bar will go. Um, it will show you very fast. Let me show you here. To right, very fast. See, it turns red right where fast it turns red so if you move slow if you move slow it should stay somewhere around there if you move fast it should be at the red section so I highly recommend you um, set up your mouse sensitivity according to how you like so I recommend you adjust and play with the mouse sensitivity to your liking Now the bad thing about the Kronos Max is that you have to set up your mouse sensitivity and you have to manually uh, figure out your 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 um, your best uh, what you call it sensitivity. So let me show you um, again how to do that. Now oh, you know what? Once you're in capture mode, you cannot use your original PC mouse controller. So in order to do that. Um, in order to escape in order to escape from that lock menu you press uh, control and escape at the same time and there it goes and then now you can be able to uh, move your mouse so you go back to layout mouse setting and then you can be able to change your sensitivity your um, dead zone and things like that and uh, I can update to you later on what my original setting was. I, this is just um, uh, my guest setting, I believe. And if you want to lock uh, from editing, just click that. And if you accidentally press right click, you can't change it. See, I try to right click it, you can't change it. So go back to layout to edit again. So unlock it. And then, um, then there we go, go to mouse setting. You can rename. If you want to save this profile, go here, go to File, 
and export the layout to your uh, any folder you want in your PC on the desktop to export the layout uh, just in case you need to um, reload the script now when my mouse is working with the PS4 your Chronos Max should look like this. It should have like a three three lines. And you can also be able to use your original PS4 controller to move your uh, your game. All right, here's some troubleshooting guides. If thing does not work at all for you, I highly recommend you disconnect every cable, disconnect that, disconnect this and disconnect this or disconnect your dongle and your cable here to reset everything. Usually start everything over from scratch and follow the same guide that I did earlier for you. And it should work. In order to disengage capture mode, you have to press control and escape on the keyboard to leave capture mode. So that way you can be able to use your mouse, uh, PC mouse. So let me go ahead and do that. There you go. You can be able to use your um, PC mouse. If you want to start using the um, FragFX controller, go ahead and press control enter capture mode and then you can be able to use your mouse. As you know Spitfish will release a brand new Frag FX controller compatible for the PS4 and you do not need to do this setup guide that I just showed you. But if you want to hold off on the PS4 Frag FX controller you can go ahead and use the Chronos Max and the Frag FX um, setup guide that I showed you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos.